Oh shit. Mount Red Tooth. It's top littered with man-made eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. Tonight, the champion of light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. From the ether. I remember having so many narrations when we started these As uh history repeats itself. The man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. Mm -hmm. Better find Dr. Meadows' car. That's where the camera should be. Of course. But anyway, it seems like there's much more narration than before. You're gonna come and break the lights again, aren't you? Why you gotta be a dick like that, hmm? Hey there, guys. Whoa! Hey there, fella. Oh! Dicks are throwing shit. I don't know where he is. I need him to stop. What? You didn't die. Sheet. There you are, you little bastard. Okay, you are dead. Er, vulnerable, I should say. Very good, little bastard. Would have taken you out earlier if I had known where you were. The guy, the game wants me to go on a weird path. Also, there's a page hiding somewhere. I smell it. Also, hello, tumbleweed. That is one heavy fucking tumbleweed. <laughs> You always know native Coloradans because we don't dodge those things on the road. We run right through them. When Dr. Rachel Meadows got the call from Michael, telling her to hurry to the observatory, she didn't waste any time. It had been a nice party. She'd had a good time, but her social life would always play second fiddle to the mysteries of space. Michael never showed up, of course. He pulled over at the wrong rest stop. She never even thought about him at the time. The phenomenon in the sky above her was too fascinating. It was full of stars. All right. Making that their progress. Let's go ahead and switch to the side. I prefer you on my left, Al. Another bastard. Oh boy! Whoop, 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 whoop. Back, I say. Don't you hide behind him. Love this gun. Oh, what's this? What you got? Hunting rifle, eh? Hmm. Not really equipped for small targets, but oh well, there's a page. It doesn't matter. Also, I sensed another page. There's pages everywhere. I've seen the enemy, and it's me. I faced dark horrors before, things that live in the unimaginable pressures of the world beyond our own. Sometimes they masquerade as humans. That's what ultimately lurks inside Mr. S He's every mean-spirited tabloid story about me. An evil caricature. A creature formed in that vague territory of misconceptions, half-truths, and the dark imagination of people who heard a story about me. An urban legend made flesh. A serial killer. My dark half. Brought to life by the power of Cauldron Lake. Damn you, Cauldron Lake. Also, we haven't looked at this one? The atmosphere in the projection booth at the drive-in was charged. Almost unreal. Despite that, the air felt cool and refreshing this late at night. It had been a hot day. The summer was nearing its end, but it wasn't over yet. I think that's the one, last one we got that we read to sort of set up. Neat. Okay. The first time we were at the movie theater. Give me that. Don't need that. Okay, I sensed another one. There's one. Nope, oh, there you are. 
Wow, these are in real cl close uh, proximity. There are places where our world is worn thin, and another reality brushes against ours. One such site is Cauldron Lake near Bright Falls, Washington. But there are others. That other reality is dark, vast, and malleable, always in flux. In its depths dwell vast forces and alien energies. They're dangerous. But in one of these places, if you know how, you can channel the power of that place and use it to shape reality. Neat. All right. I saw another one hiding out behind here. Yep. Yeah, you better run. Do, 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 do. The darkness rose from the depths of Cauldron Lake and took Alice. It needed words. It needed me to write its way into our world. She was leverage, a hostage. I complied, but with a twist. I put in a loophole that gave me a chance to fight back. I was hunted by shadowy enemies, but I faced the darkness. I fought it with light. I drove it back. I saved Alice, but it came with a cost. I was trapped in the dark place below Cauldron Lake. All right, so that's where we are. We're under Cauldron Lake, huh? Wait, oh yes, the car is in a different location now because things are changing slightly. Let's go ahead and pick up this little rascal. I hope we get there and she's all, I need a different piece entirely. And I'll be all, ah, god damn it. I hear birds. Fucking birds. Let's try, try out this little rascal. Come on, birds. Come on. Birdman. Come on, Birdman. Wow, that thing takes a coon's age to get changed out. Not a big fan of this gun. Unlike this gun, which I am a huge fan of, of course. Get away from me, you filthy casual. Taking swipes at me, the very idea. Wonder if there's anything cool over here now. Of course, we need 40 to, uh, to get the combat shotgun. Which is up by the observatory. Oh, we got some flashbangs. Those are always worthwhile. Any other things on the minimap? Mm, would seem not. All those flashbangs would definitely be appreciated. Let's go ahead and switch the flares now. I'm really bad at using my flare gun and utilizing that ammo. More birds! Come on, birds. See you being cute. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Not a problem. I like you enemies. Oh, I see another page. There you are. Oh, and a flare. Stories come naturally to us. We can't help it. There are many different worlds, many competing realities within our heads, fueled by books, television, even barely remembered childhood tales. There's an endless supply of fictional concepts more familiar to us than anything or anyone real. We have a far greater connection to the fictional characters we know and love than the random people we pass on the street. Our destinies and inspirations are shaped by lies, myths, and fables. Yeah, thinking about that, you guys know more me more than the people that you, you know, see on the street. <laughs> oh, I see another page. I sense it. I smell its fear. Alan's gonna read me. Here you are, you bitch. The Taken may well be the tool the darkness favors over any other. At some point... They used to be human, but whatever humanity they once had is long gone. Now they're just shells covered and filled by darkness. 
The taken Mr. throws at me are more grotesque and varied than the ones I first encountered in Bright Falls. But I know how to deal with them. I'd be lying if I said they don't frighten me. But I've survived worse. I can't let them stop me. It's true. I have a, I have a reputation to keep up. Can't be stopped. The very idea. Well, let's go see if we can actually turn those valves in advance. Apartheid requires all. Can you turn them now? Well, sure. Let's see if we can. I doubt we can. Because, uh, you know, video games are just not going to let you do that shit. I sense another page, though. And there's other goodies over here, which could be nice. Oh, the valve's not here now! Because of reasons. My god, they're switching it up. There it is. This makes me think of, like, Payday, the way everything's changing. After my disappearance, they thought I was dead. I might as well have been. I know it's been two years. I know Alice has moved on. I've tried to find a way back to her, back to my life, but escaping the dark place is almost impossible. Time does strange things here, but dreams and radio signals can pierce the veil between the worlds. I catch glimpses and echoes of the world. Sometimes I send messages out. I can only pray that they hear them. Mm hmm Maybe the signal is you. Well, let's follow the pipe. Maybe there are some other valves that we can fuck with. Must you? Must you make all the noise? Okay. I thought it was going to drop some people on my face, and I didn't care for it. If I don't see a valve over here or anywhere close, then we'll just head in. Maybe they spawn after I talk to her, and this will be just hilarious when that does transpire. Yeah, there's nothing over here. We may not even have to do that whole valve bullshit on this one. Maybe, maybe that problem's been sorted, right? Like there was a valve there too, but now there's no valves. Thanks. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. What are you gonna do, Mr. Creeper? I know what you're thinking. Evil twin, supernatural powers. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. I want you to understand that. My favorite hitman weapon. <laughs> technology can depend on. It's a classic. Speaking of classics, you need to be careful with this one now. If the victim suddenly twists, you might end up cutting yourself. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm a sucker for this style. Now this is more like it. You've got slip-resistant grip. Believe me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket, but it's still really easy to open with just one hand. Now that's a big thing for me. I know what you're thinking. It's too big. Too heavy. But sometimes you just need the extra oomph. If you're talking intimidation, this is going to do the job. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. You know. I don't think it'd be big enough, to be honest. Ah, I can't tell you how many things I've MacGyvered with this stuff. Okay, now, guns. Not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with somebody with a bullet? I want you to understand that. I take pride in what I do. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? Oh my god, he totally got to me, guys. I'm a worthless hack. How will I go on? You have to forgive me, but this feels very strange. It seems like this has all happened before. Nope. I have the replacement part for your telescope, doctor. What? I 
All right, let's go ahead and swing it up there again. There you are. I think we can give this a go, although I have this strange feeling that something Don't will go Don't start wrong. it up yet. There's a problem with the cooling system. <laughs> yes, that's right. I remember. All right, let me think. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary coolant pipe outside. Stuff. If you can secure it, you should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll take care of it. Before you go, if you have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained a few things. All of this is very strange to me. Secure primary pipes. Do I get to go outside? There we go. There's only one pipe, huh? It's probably down at that big place, then. Do I actually have to get up there? I'd hope not. Oh, the walking. Hello, people. Time to die. Get, let you get a little bit closer. Make it sporting. So it is an instant kill if I do get a headshot. I thought I was just being a, an asshole saying headshot before, but no, I was actually displaying some skill. How about that? You guys appear to be stuck. There you go. You figured it out. Damn you, son of a bitch. I hate you. I tell you, you don't have the most tactically sound plan this time, for sure. You're not going to run at me? Hmm. What an odd behavior you're displaying. There you go. I wonder what happened to the guy throwing the grenades. Or the grenade-like appliances. Oh well. These beings hate the light, am I correct? You should be able to turn on the lights and secure the area that way. Doctor, can you hear me? All right, Chief, break everything. Where are you going now? You can go possess that car. All right, very impressive. I guess they didn't like that. Maybe not. Thanks for opening the door for me. The door being the fence. I don't think that's the mountain's work. Okay, the it's not getting poltergeist. That is getting poltergeist. Let's hug this car. Could be handy. Dick. I was afraid that might happen where it might push the car into me. Oh boy. Whoop. Let's just forget about them, Al. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Why? Why you work against me, Mountain? Oh, hey there, fella. Get out of here. You're adorable. Only 11 more 357 rounds. 
More than enough. Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> Must get ammo. Please come up here. I will in a moment. Let me just get your scientific ammo, and I'll be right up. The return of Havoc Engine derps disguised as game mechanics. Pretty much entropy. Find a signal? Yes. I don't think it's quite the same thing we had um, the last time. Still, we're definitely picking it up. Are we getting the complete signal now? I'm afraid not. Take a look at it yourself. I'm printing out a hard copy now. It's I'd probably like going to be a low res texture again. If you don't mind. What's on your mind, Doctor? Most people would find these events extremely disturbing, provided that they survive these creatures, that is. You seem to be quite adept at dealing with the situation. Why is that? Yes, I'm a dead eye. I was involved in... It's a complex story. I was in this small town, and a horrible thing from another dimension kidnapped my wife and manipulated me into writing this horror story that came true. I learned to fight it with light, and I managed to and kill bullets. it and free my wife, but I was trapped in its world. Are you serious? Yep. Absolutely. So, I'm used to reality working in strange or even impossible ways. And I fought these things, not exactly like this, but close enough for a good while now. Of course, I have certain advantages. Was there anything else? What did you mean when you said you have advantages? At the risk of sounding like a lunatic, reality is much more fluid than people think. It can be influenced. I didn't take you for a mystic. I'm not. I'm a writer. And under certain conditions, I can, for lack of a better word, rewrite reality. Change things. That's absurd. But it works. So you mean, I believe this? Why don't you simply, I don't know, write yourself some superpowers? It's not quite that simple. You need to follow certain laws of drama, I suppose. You need to think about consistency and symbolism. Well, there's plenty of spiders you could get bitten by and get powers, right? There are things out there that will take advantage of your mistakes. You really Fangs. Don't look at me like that. You've experienced some of this yourself. I will she really hasn't changed the way she's looking at you, Al. <laughs> but this idea that you're somehow altering reality with your writing is ridiculous. You're essentially saying you're controlling my actions. Leaving aside the rational arguments against this, what gives you the right? Well, it's more like having a destiny. A path you're on. You're not aware of it, but there it is. If somebody changes it, what difference does it make? It's what every writer does. If you write something that affects one of the characters, they don't really know about that. I'm not a character. Are you saying that it's all right to take advantage of someone if they aren't aware of it? Look, all I meant was that if you're genuinely making all your own decisions and those decisions lead to whatever destiny you have, what practical difference does it make? I suppose that depends on whether our destinies are determined by things like physics and probabilities, or natural reality, which is presumably neutral and impartial, or by some kind of an intelligence. If it's the latter, that intelligence makes choices based on some criteria. If we suffer as a result of those choices, there's a moral and ethical element involved, regardless of whether we're aware of its manipulations. Wouldn't you agree? I... You're taking this very well. I thought you'd be angry. I suppose I would be if I thought you could actually do this. I think you're retarded, frankly. Another printout. Another signal fragment. Another low-res texture. Complete, but it's another piece of the weapon he has built against his adversary. Mere words on a piece of paper, but in the right hands, they will hold back the darkness. Mere pixels on a kind of piece of paper. Will it be enough to escape Night Springs?